Since its opening in 1892, Ellis Island was advertised in magazines and guidebooks as, quote, one of the sites of New York. Visitors had to obtain a pass from one of the organizations associated with the island or permission from the immigration commissioner had to be given. It was such a popular pastime, it was such a popular place to visit that in 1912, the immigration commissioner restricted the number of people on Saturdays. That's how incredibly popular it was. This is a view of the Great Hall in Ellis Island where immigrants entered what was called the line to be inspected and pro uh, processed. What I want you to pay attention to here is the balcony up here, which none of the immigrants actually went through. The balcony was pretty much made for visitors. The visitors' entrance naturally led to this area of Ellis Island. Up here, removed from whatever drama and spectacle was coming or occurring down here, the immigrants, um, the visitors, sorry, could observe the spectacle below from the safe distance and not risk contracting any contagious diseases, which was a real anxiety. And also interesting is the fact that there are some of the photographs that were taken from immigrants um, in Ellis Island displayed along the walls so that immigrants could look at the immigrants below. They could also look at photographic images of immigrants who had passed before then. Visitors had access to the areas frequented by immigrants, including the main station, the dining rooms, the entrance to the dormitories, railroad rooms, and meeting places. Um, at most of these points, there were statements of information for visitors, kind of like photo opportunity, almost kind of um, signs. And the visitor's guide advised that interesting scenes may be often be witnessed as a result of the meeting of people who have been separated for some time. The main concern was that visitors not disrupt the workers of the Bureau's officials. As an immigration processing station, Ellis Island emphasized the spectacle. Uh, Philip Cowan, an inspector with strong immigrant sympathy, suggested that visitors use Ellis Island like a zoo, coming to, quote, see the animals. Another immigration official likened the experience to the fascination of watching, quote, a circus procession plus the hustle and bustle lacking in the more deliberal, deliberate circus parade. Anna Pegler Gordon argues that, quote, a more accurate comparison may be the various world's fairs hosted in the United States, particularly in the Columbian Exposition of 1893 and the St. Louis World's Fair of 1904, where American fairgoers enjoyed living, uh, enjoyed living ethnographic displays of primitive people, particularly from Asia and Africa, but also from selected countries in Europe. The spectacle of immigration, specifically that of arrival, provided many a tourist, amateur, semi-professional, professional, and journalist photographer with pl plenty of photo ops. And the surviving images, which are still in circulation in a, variety, in a variety of ways, continue to mean and signify. The intersections between photography as spectacle and immigration as spectac um, culminate in some of the photographic images that depict the medical examinations, namely the dreaded eye exam. Although a very brief portion of the medical exam um, immigrants were submitted to one final exam that completed their entrance or denied entry or detention into uh, the United States. The exam was meant to track um, an illness what it, that is called trachoma, a contagious eye disease that can cause blindness and therefore can prevent an immigrant from working, uh, which was highly invasive, uh, which was um, one of the reasons that it was so um, problematic. Officials would hold the eyelid in their fingers or with something that's called a button hook, which there's an array of collections of the different ones that were used by the officials, turn the eyelid inside out and look for signs of the disease. Uh, stories circulated around immigrant circles who were awaiting examination about the exam, and adults would often tell children to be careful that the officers not take their eyes out instead. Uh, there was one particular case when a little girl was so traumatized by what she heard that when her turn came to get the eye exam done, she just started screaming hysterically and would not be, there was nothing that anybody could do to stop her, so finally they just let her through because it, they were unable to perform the exam. And there was one case reported of a Dutch immigrant who actually contacted the Immigration Bureau demanding compensation because he claimed that he had um, some, somehow contracted either an illness or his vision had been affected by this particular exam and his trade was that of a visual artist. 
so it actually contaminated his eye and he would not able to perform as he would otherwise. The politics of looking culminate here in this exam as officials look at immigrants to detect the signs that will deny them entry. But look at the drama of what's happening as this is going on. Don't forget the balcony and the visitors all watching. So it's almost like a Foucauldian panopticon, not quite, but similar, in that the visitors look at the health officials performing their examinations, who are then in turn looking for the immigrants for illnesses to keep them out. All, the all look at the immigrants, at each other, and the immigrant cannot really look at anybody because their eyes are being checked, invaded, and momentarily detained. And while this exa eye exam is relatively uninvasive compared to some other medical practices, notice that the immigrants, for instance, remain fully closed. I'd like to point out that in this particular case, the um, officer's hand appears to be on the woman's breast. And I'm not really sure what that has to do with her eye. And I'm not suggesting sexual assault. I'm just merely pointing out that maybe it was a little bit more invasive than it ought to have been. Uh, here we have a couple of other images of the eye exam and everybody was just in an assembly line just waiting to get checked and then the officials are just showing the kind of strains of having to look and process through all of these uh, immigrants. 